Hey, what's up guys? It's Cypher. We got a little bit of a different video today. I got a little bit personal in today's video and I talked about my journey as a content creator, how I got to where I am today. And I also talked about a huge secret that I kept from my parents for many, many years up until recently uh, that played a big role into, you know, shaping how I am as a content creator. Uh, my struggles with school and eventually dropping out of school as I'm trying to balance content creation. Uh, so this is a pretty heavy topic, I guess, for me. Um, a lot of good lessons to learn. So if you guys want more of these type of videos where I talk about my personal life um, and my journey to become where I am today, make sure you like this video, hit that subscribe button. And like I said, if you want to support me, you can use creator code CypherPK in the item shop. Enjoy today's discussion and let me know what you think in the comments down below. So the other day, my parents uh, confronted me about me lying about uh, going to university classes when in reality I, I dropped out of almost almost every class that I signed up for but pretended to still be going to still go to class uh, but really just think of video ideas and you know ideas to improve my stream um, and I was like what are you going to do ground me <laughs> No, like they were legitimately like a little bit hurt about it. And then they found out about me uh, faking a rejection letter. I was like, listen, I had to do what I had to do to get where I am today. Who snitched? I don't know who snitched. I think my mom watched the Wildcast podcast where I talked about that. Which I imagine. Imagine having a fake a rejection letter I'll, t I'll tell you why i'll tell you why i did y you might you might be confused as to like why would you do that yeah, like, that makes no sense Listen, lying to your parents is not a good idea, okay? Because you'll end up like me. No, I'm kidding. You, you will not. You'll end up like me. It was a very specific situation, okay? So, what happened was... Um, I had just started making money from streaming and YouTube, right? I was making maybe a thousand a month. Close to a thousand a month from streaming and I wanted to pursue streaming. I wanted to take a year off from school and try to stream full time and try to take it to the next level. And if it doesn't work, I'll go back to school. Uh, the only issue was that since I was making a thousand a month, uh, my parents, you know, they said I need to help with the bills and I need to pay for my own tuition, which is perfectly like that's that's not a problem. That's perfectly fine, right? But I, in my heart, didn't want to go to school. I wanted to stream. And for me, paying for tuition was like just setting money on fire. Because I knew that it, I was eventually just going to drop out. Because I believed in myself that I was going to make it as a streamer. And this this belief didn't come from nothing. Like, like I said, I was making money. I was making, like, I, I made a few hundred dollars a month. $500 a month and then I started making a thousand a month and within a few months It became a full-time job, right? So So it wasn't it wasn't like oh, I believe in myself and I'm gonna post Fortnite montage clips to 20 views. And I'm gonna drop out of school. No, no, no That is like a loser's way of doing things. Okay, you will not make it doing that Um, I had a proven concept I was doing something, you know, it was working. Um, but since I had to pay for the tuition, to me, it was just like setting money on fire. So 
So I don't want to do it. And in my mind, I'm like, if I get accepted into a really good school, the tuition is going to be like 4,000, 5,000 or more a semester. And like, if I was making a thousand a month, I'd pretty much be spending 80% of my paycheck on tuition for classes that I was probably going to drop anyways. So like, I didn't want to go to an expensive school or like a, like a good school that was going to, um, cost a lot. In my mind, I was like, listen, if I go to community college, uh, the classes are going to be like 200 each. It's very cheap. Especially if you live within the community college, like zone, uh, 200 or 400 each per class. I can, I can sign up for like three, say I sign up for four, you know, at the end of the day, I'm not going to be spending that much on these classes. So I had previously applied to a lot of schools, right? And the main school I, I initially wanted to go to was UT Austin. That was the school my parents wanted me to go to. Well, I got into UT Austin, but I didn't want my parents to know that. And they kept asking about it and asking about it. Did you get accepted? Did you get accepted? So the only way for me to get them off me was to make a rejection letter from UT. So I showed them the rejection letter that I made so that I could tell them, Hey, listen, don't worry. I'll go to community college for a year or two and then transfer. It's an, you know, I'll save money. It's not a big deal. They agreed. They were a little disappointed that I got rejected. They were a little confused too, because my grades were really good. They thought maybe I just botched the, uh, the, uh, what do you call it? Application or whatever. So I did the, I forged the rejection letter so that I wouldn't have to pay for the expensive tuition for classes that I was not going to even follow up on and for a degree that I was not going to finish. So I went to community college for uh, two semesters, dropped almost all those classes, failed the rest that I didn't drop. Uh, wasn't even really going to school. Eventually I got a letter from the community college saying that I can't sign up for more classes unless I speak with a counselor, like a crisis counselor. Cause they thought I was going through something and they didn't just realize they just didn't realize that I was on the grind. That's what I was going through. I was on the grind. Um, so yeah, that's, that's why I reject, I forged a rejection letter from a college from university. And I, and I need to specify to any kid watching who's might be thinking of some ideas after hearing me and I'm going to give you some harsh truth. If you are not making enough money to pay rent, to buy food and to save money and to pay for gas, you have no business dropping out of school quitting your job or any of that nonsense until you have shown that you are good enough as a content creator as a streamer as a pro player to make enough money to live without the help of your parents Don't even think about it. Don't even think about quitting your job or dropping out of school on, until you've proven that you have a concept that works, that you have what it takes. Because the truth is most of you do not have what it takes yet because most of you are not putting in the time or effort. And, and that, listen, it's okay to have it as a hobby, but don't, don't convince yourself that it, that it's something that it's not. Because it can be, it can be what you're hoping. It can be your dreams. It can be your job, but it's not an easy job. And it's not something that it's, 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 it's like a one in a million thing, right? One million streamers try to make it a, their job. Only like one person makes it through. Um, and that, that's, those are the odds. Those are the odds. You want to gamble your life on one in a million. I, I didn't gamble my life on one in a million. You know why? Because when I decided to, to, to drop school, it, it was still a risk, but it was a calculated risk. It was a very calculated risk because I was already making a thousand plus dollars a month and I was growing. And within a few months of me 
dropping out. Actually, I only I only ended up moving out of my parents' house when I could afford to get an apartment and uh, pay my own bills. Like that is that is the only time I dropped. Uh, I I decided to to move out and go do things on my own. Once I was uh, once I was uh, making enough money to pay for an apartment, uh, save money, pay for my own food, pay for my own car insurance, like all that stuff. It was in the ballpark of like three to five thousand dollars a month, and depending on where you live, that might not even be enough. You know, certain areas are going to be more expensive. Certain certain areas are going to be less expensive, cost of living. But once once I had that down, then I decided, hey, you know what? I'm going to drop out of school. I'm going to move out of my parents' house and go go pursue streaming. It wasn't when I got 100 views on my uh, Fortnite montage. It wasn't when I got blocked by a pro player. It wasn't when one of my tweets got 1,000 likes. That stuff doesn't mean anything. I don't mean to be harsh, champ. But it's got to be said. Because I don't want to give people... I don't want to give impressionable kids the idea of dropping everything to pursue content when they might just ruin their life or waste a lot of their, their youth. Aw, I wanted to tag him one more time before I full sent it into his box. <laughs> 